Sasha? Hold on, I gotta lock the door. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to, Sasha was leaving and the other, the other night I was here and I had a homeless person walk in on me and I was with him for about two hours. So I needed to lock the door. Not that I'm not compassionate toward homeless people, but <laughs> y'all understand. Hello, everybody. Hey, Dr. Elizabeth. Hello, everybody. Oh, thank you, Priscilla. Thank you. Thank you, Sasha. Sasha and Cynthia worked really hard on that, and we really appreciate you saying that. Thank you, Priscilla. Hey, Sally. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hey. All right. This is our Fast Track Lesson 4. Fast track lesson four. So we bring it all home tonight. We bring it all home. By the way, those of you that have been hearing a lot about the wellness company, um, we've got a special, special meeting uh, Saturday, noon Eastern Standard Time. We've got some guest speakers coming to talk about clean eating and why it's important living a toxic free life, toxin free life. So we've got that going on Saturday at noon. Uh, they've not yet give me their links, uh, but they everybody in the Shibola family is invited to that to learn more about these amazing products that are just setting the world on fire. Um, if anybody would like to, uh, be there to attend that all you have to do is shoot me an email and I'll send you over the link uh, all of our influencers I hope will be there or at least watch the recording so that we can uh, continue to educate ourselves understand more about these products and how the superior quality can help people live better lives so that's my email address, Travis, hey, Nalata, TravisJack777 at gmail.com. That's Saturday at noon. If you shoot me an email, tomorrow you'll get the secret link to the uh, this overview. We're going to have some guest speakers. That's Saturday at noon, Eastern Standard Time. Lauren will record it for you. I think they will. It's not my link, but I think they will. All right, we'll get started. If you're new here, my name's Travis Martin. I've lost over 100 pounds. I guess I should start telling you I've lost 132 pounds, but uh, I've lost over 100 pounds, come off all prescription medications. Programs changed my life, changed tens of thousands of other lives too high blood pressure, acid reflux, high cholesterol, uh, type 2 diabetes, depression meds, you name it. And it just, the program continues to inspire and amaze people because there's no pills, no potions, no gimmicks, just education and faith, faith and education. And we continue that trend uh, tonight helping people get through our award-winning Fast Track program. We've won multiple awards for the information talk, not for the technology, for the information talk. And uh, you've all been with me this week. If you haven't, you're welcome to start fresh on Monday. We have a new group starting Monday. And uh, it's, it, would, it would do you well to even go through the course a couple of times. I teach it different every time. Same information. But because I don't teach from a PowerPoint and I authored the program more than 20 years ago, I teach it from the heart. But then you also have the more structured coursework through Kim Danke. 
Did uh did everybody here go through Kim's fast track this week or familiarize yourself with it? How'd she do? She's pretty good, huh? She's pretty good. Outstanding. So before we get into taking our fast track test and uh taking it and passing it and earning our fast track badge, which it doesn't just sign signify that you made it through the course. If you had my if you had my vantage point, you would see administratively the superior results that people get when they do these three things, when they attend a live class each week, actually twice a month. That seems to be the number. A live class twice a month, they journal every day and they've earned their fast track badge. Comparing them to the people that log in and use the resources but never earn their fast track badge and don't journal, they lose more than three times the weight in the same period of time. That's pretty striking, isn't it? So it's not just about the food, the recipes, the food library, it's about your management tool, the Shibola Shield, and the connection that we all have with one another, that, that plays into this. So we went through Fast Track with Kim and then I did live instruction. So before we take the test, let's do my own quiz. It takes three days to get in efficient fat burning, true or false? <laughs> That is false. True or false? We know that we're in efficient fat burning mode because we have taken in adequate protein. That's that's right. Right, y'all. Y'all are on it. Don't tell my morning group. I think y'all know it better. <laughs> So we know we're in efficient fat burning because we're in a calorie deficit and we're controlling insulin, true or false, and getting inadequate protein. That was kind of a dumb question, sorry. <laughs> when drinking water, you should, as fast as you can, guzzle a gallon of water, just get it out of the way early in the day. That can be deadly, by the way. That can be deadly. Next question. The Bible has a scripture, a verse of scripture that says, let God be thy portion. And that's what our portion component was brought into the program for. That reason. <laughs> I'm not speaking well tonight. I'm sorry. I apologize. But right. Yes, I got every component I got from some verse of scripture. And I think that's important. It is to me. I believe that's one reason God has blessed the program the way God has blessed it. It is perfectly acceptable to have grilled chicken breast, green beans, and an apple for dessert. That'd be true. It is perfectly acceptable to get grilled chicken at Applebee's, a side salad, use your own dressing, and then have some berries after dinner. That is false. Why is that false? We got some superstars here that got that right. That's right, Lauren. You're on it, sis. Yep, yep. That's got to count that chicken as a category four right there. Got to count that chicken as a category four. Next, I'm at home. I boil me a big pot of water, put some Old Bay seasoning in it. Mm. Throw me some shrimp in there. Throw me some... 
Category four turkey kielbasa, kielbasa in there. Throw me some broccoli in there. Throw me some crab legs in there. Throw me some crawfish in there. I get them out of there. I take the shells off. I put the meat on my six to eight inch plate. Put my broccoli on my six to eight inch plate. And then I have a corn on the cob on that six to eight inch plate. Is that okay? Absolutely, that's okay. We treat, oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I was wrong. <laughs> I did say turkey kielbasa, didn't I? So Dr. Elizabeth is the only one of us, including me, that got that right. I forgot I threw in the sausage. <laughs> if I hadn't have threw in the sausage, we'd be all right, wouldn't we? You can't have the sausage with the corn. But if I took the sausage out, I could have the corn. Good job, doctor. You beat me on that one. It's been a long day. <laughs> that was good. Good. You, you, I was sitting there thinking, how did she the only one missing that? <laughs> All right. Next one. I can have three ounces of hamburger steak patty with some shrimp, some cold boiled shrimp dipped in homemade cocktail sauce or approved cocktail sauce with a side salad and some light Italian dressing. Yep, sure can. Next, I can have roughly five lemon pepper chicken wings with celery, and that would be an approved meal. Good deal. I could have lemon pepper chicken wings with some broccoli and a few approved French fries. <laughs> no, no. I could have some chicken wings, some uh, buffalo wings, no breading, buffalo wings. some celery, and a little fried okra on a plate, breaded with carb quick flour. Yep, you could do that. Could I do this? Could I have four ounces of 96% lean ground beef, <laughs> a category two healthy life hamburger bun, and four steak fries fried in MCT oil, salt on it. Little ketchup. Y'all are good, good deal. Sure or false, a hamburger steak patty with jicama fries would help me lose weight faster than a hamburger steak patty and french fries. I gotta have a, my broccoli or fiber, okay? But jicama helps you lose weight faster than Potato fries. True. True. Could I do the following? Then we'll get to the test. Could I have some shrimp breaded in category two flour, breaded and fried, and some okra breaded and fried and have shrimp and okra? Fried shrimp and fried okra breaded with approved breading. Yes. Let's go take a look at our test. Y'all are good. This is a good group right here. Kim and I have done a good job. Yes, got to use approved oil. All right, I'm in the website. And we go to Kim Danke's Fast Track. And we go to our video library right here. Then we go to the test. We've watched all the videos. Whoops, something happened there. Sergey, quit working with my website. Okay, here we go. You've watched the 14 fast tracks, I hope. What are the two Shibboleth modes? Because, and I'll explain why we have two modes. This is an easy one.
Weight loss and maintenance. Now, why is that even a question on here? Because everyone, I want to point out to you, you cannot have two goals at the same time as it relates to your body composition. They tell you you can lose. How many times have you heard you can lose fat and gain muscle? How many times have you heard that? That's right, Lauren. That's good. Lauren's on fire tonight. She's preaching. You can't serve two gods either. Amen. So that is a myth because one requires a calorie deficit. The other requires a calorie surplus. So lots of money's been made. Lots of money has been spent. I'll say, and you can lose fat and gain muscle at the same time. Can't do it. You might give the appearance you did, but it's because you got rid of that layer of fat off the muscle that you were conditioning. The only way to put on any new raw material, fat or muscle, is to operate in a calorie surplus. So the way we eat for weight loss is different than the way we eat for maintenance, which is different than the way we eat for muscle gain. So it's all goal-oriented and situation-specific. How many types of days are there in Shibola? We're talking fast track here, not, not journey or tiger's eye. There's many more type days. Two, good deal. Perfect holiday. There's no in between. This, now, I said this Monday, if you don't learn anything else from me, please learn that philosophy. That's the philosophy that saved my life. And if the program's done anything for you long term. That's that's the cornerstone right there. Jesus and me opening that Bible and God ordering my steps to I wish that were cold or hot, but they're lukewarm. If, if you live your life, today's either a perfect day or a holiday. I'm going to do the right thing more than the wrong thing. There's no OK days. Your life will change. What are the two types of days in Shibola? Good, perfect holiday. Good job, Barbara. How many holidays are you allowed in a calendar month in the weight loss mode? That's right, six. The number of man. I told you everything come out of the Bible. <laughs> and it just works mathematically. It's the weirdest thing. When I started looking at the, the numerology part of it, the, the math of it, it's like, wow, that actually works out. Because if I have six days, that still gives me a lot of, if you look at your timing chart, a lot of time in EFB so that I can drop that 10 to 15 pounds a month. How many holidays are you allowed in a calendar month in maintenance? Up to 12, the number of disciples. <laughs> How many components are there to a perfect? And by the way, if you look at that, if you have 12 holidays, you barely get in, in any efficient fat burning time. So it's a maintenance strategy. How many components are there to a perfect day? Six. What are they? What, what are they called? The shield. That, based upon the Bible, helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, all that good stuff. What are the six components of a perfect day? A, B, C, or D? That's right, C. Good job, Michelle. How many perfect days does it take to get in EFB? We covered that one earlier. Water is the first component of the shield. What is the minimum amount of water you can drink in a day to meet the requirements of the component? 64. Optimally, how much water should you try to drink in one day? Good. To meet the journaling component of the Shibola shield, how much of what you eat in a day do you need to journal? Just breakfast and lunch, right? You don't need to write down your holiday meals, do you? You bite it, you write it. 
How many categories of food do we use in Shabbat? Whole food categories. Seven. <laughs> Are y'all noticing a trend? <laughs> Let me ask you this question. A or B? A, Travis is too superstitious. B, I love that this program winks at scripture. What is category one? Lean protein. Category two. Fibrous carbs. Category three. Energy carbs. Category four. Uh, protein plus fat. Now, with a category four, I can have, I cannot have whole grains like corn, but I can have like lima beans, right? No, <laughs> I tricked you. No, lima beans are what category? Category three. I will say though, if you if you are one of my advanced students, that was not fair because you know that we can do that as a perfect pairing. Sorry, that wasn't fair because you might have been right if you knew that because you come to advanced class. What is category five? It's a fruit. What is category six? I like seeing a Martin in here. Hey, Carol. Superfood. What is category seven? Shellfish. Shellfish can also be used as a lean protein. When properly combining your meals, should you eat a category three energy car by itself? No. When eating properly combined meals, should you eat a category five fruit by itself? No. Question. Once you're in maintenance, Travis would prefer that you have an apple by itself than a help smart peanut butter patty. I sell those, by the way. <laughs> yes, I had. We do the right thing around here. So if you're new, understand how much I love fruit and its many benefits. It's only not beneficial to eat by itself when you're trying to lose weight. That will slow you down, maybe even stop you unless you're going with low glycemic fruit. But it's best to eat your fruit as part of a one and two or seven and two until you lose the weight. Then it's perfectly fine to have during maintenance as a snack or a meal. In fact, how many of y'all would want to do this with me? In a couple of weeks, I'm doing a three day detox with nothing but fruit. One of the best things I've ever done in my past. Anybody want to do that with me? It's awesome. It resets everything. Yeah, big old, big old bowl of all kind of fruit. You get to eat on fruit all day while you detox. You feel so refreshed after that three days is over, so clean. When eating properly combined meals, if you're going to eat category three or category five, you must eat it with two other categories. What are they? One, two, three. Which of the following categories should not be eaten by itself? Two, three, four, or six? Three. So can I have a steak by itself then? 
or is this a mistake? Yeah, you can. Can I have pintos by themselves? Yeah. No category three by itself. For the most efficient fat burning potential, which category should you combine with a category four? A two. But we could, if you said one, I would still say that you're right. Did you hear that? I would still say, well done. Which of the following combinations is the proper way to combine a category six? Hmm. Oh, y'all have me concerned now. <laughs> the first one. Yeah. One, two, and six. What would that look like? That would look like, let's say, chicken breast, quarter cup of pinto beans, and some green beans. Sounds pretty good, don't it? What is the fastest fat burning combination? of this list. There's some good ones, but yes, one, two MCT. Think about this for a moment, not saying that you should do it or feel like you have to, but a one plus two plus MCT on a portion plate, let's say that you were dropped off on a deserted island and there was nothing growing on that island but one twos and MCTs and you had to ration it until you got rescued. You'd lose about 20 to 30 pounds a month. Now we, we've got more than 20 food combinations, but could you come up with lots of variety with just one, two and MCT and just lock it down if you was of a mind to? This is why I say weight loss is so easy. It's just the made up mind that's the difficult part. You would literally be eating exercise on a plate three times a day. Can you have meal replacements in weight loss? I prefer it for the weight loss phase. I prefer to see people whole foods better for you, but I prefer people to use one or two meal replacements a day because that controls their portion. So for example, in the morning, health-wise hot chocolate with a cocoa ringa, quick breakfast. For lunch, a GC control shake recipe. And then for dinner, uh, you have your four and two or one and two. You just knock off the weight. This thing would be over for you if if in 90 days, your, your life would just be turned upside down for the better. If we could just stop listening to the devil, the enemy about the FOMO. When eating at a restaurant, you should consider all meat a category four. True. If you're eating a meal that is not properly combined, you are. Uh-huh. That bus. In order to have proper portions, what is the proper plate size? I'm not going to open this up. There you go, Lauren, six to eight. When using the two-hand rule, if you can still see your food outside of your hands, you can still consider it a perfect meal as long as it's only the fibrous carbs sticking out around the edges. False. For optimal results, how many hours after you wake should you eat your first meal? One to two. This is one question that will be gone. Um, this is right, but it's not. Um, studies suggest when I started in this space, that was the prevailing science and wisdom. It is no longer because now we know the value and benefits of intermittent fasting. So the preferred timing is optimal, it's 16 hours a day fasting. 
good enough is 12 hours. How many approved meals are you allowed in a day? Up to three. That says up to because I must have three, correct? No, I, I don't eat if I'm not hungry. True or false? If my stomach is growling, that's a sign that my body is going in starvation mode. True or false? I am not in starvation mode if I'm naked looking in the mirror, jumping up and down, and there's more jiggling and itching than I want to be jiggling and itching. <laughs> True or false, if my belly button will hold five gallons of water, I'm not in starvation mode. <laughs> See, I can get away with this with y'all because we all in the same boat, sisters, brothers. In my mind, I'm still dealing with the same. I don't know if I'll ever get that I'm 196 pounds or what, 186 pounds. In meeting the requirements for component number five, timing, how many hours should you allow between meals? Four to six, but that doesn't mean it's a holiday, as long as you don't go over your rations. If you are unable to meet the exact requirements of component number five of the shield, timing, does that keep you from having a perfect day? No. In meeting the requirements of the shield, timing should uh, should you graze between meals? No. A couple more questions, though. Be careful. I might be tricking you. It's very important. If my blood sugar bottoms out, and I know that it's my blood sugar and not my mental weakness, then I should eat a cup of berries to get my blood sugar back up and still call it a perfect day. That's true. Or an apple or whatever, you know, half a banana, something to get that blood sugar up. When eating properly, time, by the way, y'all may not, let me give y'all an advanced question, give you something to look forward to in the journey. In order to efficiently burn fat, I need to keep my blood sugar at 100 to 120 points. Now, our program does it for you, but that is true. It's actually 80 to 120. So did you know, y'all all know that if your blood sugar goes over 120 points, you cannot efficiently burn fat, right? Y'all knew that. But did you know that if you go under 80 points, you cannot efficiently burn fat? There's a range. And Lauren, I figured you knew that. You just, you were being precise. When eating properly timed meals, we have food options called freebies, extra snacks, but they should only be eaten in moments of mental weakness. True. If you're all in on the program, true or false, if you're all in and you believe you get started, you have to forget everything you know, and you have to listen to Travis unless your doctor or the doctor in the sky tells you otherwise, and then whatever they tell you trumps what Travis tells you. That's true. The only oil you can cook with on a perfect day is 100% MCT oil. That's false. You can also cook with ghee butter, coconut oil, hemp oil, and uh, other things that aren't fats. Like I do a lot of this, fat-free broth, kettle and fire bone broth, um, bouillon. You can do that. Non-stick spray. Which of the following statements is incorrect regarding cooking oils? Cooking in olive oil is not approved. Ghee butter does not change the category of food. Using coconut oil does not change the category of your food. 
You can use any flavor zero calorie cooking oil. Number one, cooking in olive oil is approved, but you cannot have what categories with something with olive oil on the plate? What, what two categories can you not have if olive oil is on that plate? Three and five. Very good. Very good. The fat bus causes fat storage to take place, increased appetite, and it stops EFB for up to 48 hours. The hormone responsible for all of this is insulin. Can we control it with the Shibola shield? Yes. Are you ready to get started in this practical, sustainable, and fun lifestyle? Yes. Submit. Perfect score. Now you're ready to continue going through Fast Track and learning it better or going into Journey. If you are a member, then the whole website opens up for you. If you're not a member, you have access for life to Fast Track. So uh, we're glad that you're here. We love you all so much. And I've got a lot of questions that I'm going to start answering. Let's see. Well, a lot of these were answers to my questions. I got you. It's Michelle Myers. Thank you, Michelle. No questions over here. Good job, Michelle. Any questions or comments for me, it can be off the subject as well. I hope everybody got their meal plans when you started Fast Track, your meal ideas, your rules. If you didn't get that, uh, let Sasha know. Uh, check your promotion folders because did you, those of you that got my document, did, who got my document this week where it had the rules and meal ideas? Did you, some of y'all get that? Was that helpful at all? And those of you that have been a mem members a long, a long time, would that document have helped if you had gotten that when you started? And by the way, if there are other things that would be a help to our new members that you wish you would have had that don't cost money, just cost time, let me know what those are so that we can be better to our new members. Is there an example of what the food log should look like? Let me just give you an example. How about that? How long does it, let me ask y'all this. We got a little time. How long does it take to journal? Because most people tell me I just don't have time. How long does it take? Not long, does it? So let's take a look at that. This will be a good little exercise. All right, so I'm in one of my dummy accounts. Now I'm going to go into my journal. You can use the app and just take pictures. You can just take pictures, okay? So here's the way you journal. I start off each day. Look at all these different type days. I start off each, each day going on, and I call it forth and forward even though it's not yet, as though it's going to be. So let's say that I'm choosing to have Travis's perfect day, okay? Uh, and then I get my wake-up time, very important. That data is real helpful in the future. When you see trends of how you feel, your motivation, you'll start making trends. You'll see trend lines. You can go to progress and see all these trends. So I got up at 6. And I don't know what time I'm going to bed yet. My motivation is a 10. Anytime it drops below a 10 or below an 8, you need to call for a May Day. New folks, you need to call for a May Day. Ask for help. Okay, we don't want your motivation slipping. Then I take a pic, the way I do it, I take a picture of everything I eat. And at the end of the day, I input it 
or I use my app and I take a picture of it and put some words about it, but here's how it works. So I'm having a meal. Egg white omelet with spinach and reduced fat Sargento. Boom. That is a one plus a two plus a condiment. I add my image if I have an image. That way the team and you can see the portions. I mark the time. Let's say it was 8 o'clock. I save it. Save it after every entry. I come back in later. Or I can do it. I do my journaling now at the end of the day. I didn't start like that. I didn't even have an online journal. I'm so old. But now, before I go to bed, it's part of my DMO, my daily method of operation. I take my phone, and I go, oh, yeah, I remember eating that today. And then I make entries. How did it make me feel? Do I feel good about it? Did I have a holiday? Why did I do that? What triggered it? So I took meal, and then I'm having Wendy's chili. Over a side salad. Sometimes I'll even do this. I'll, this I'll go, meal, I'll call that a meal replacement because it's at a restaurant. And I'll even do parentheses and I'll put 240, I put the calories so that I know that. And then I'll make a little entry like, loved it. Forgot how much I love their chili. Those little things, you may never refer back to it. It's good that you have it because you'll see when you were doing good. The system will even tell you, go back to this date and time and look at your, now listen to this. This is why I want people to journal. It, it, imagine six months from now when this has got data on you and you, you've lost your way. And then you ask the website, when, when did I do, when was I having the best results? When was that? And it takes you back to a season where you were dropping it and you get to go back and look at your entries. Do you see why, just like a, a ship's captain, you need a captain's log? Does that make sense, everyone? Put my picture, come here, another meal, Travis's spaghetti. I'm blessed, had my favorite meal, sacrificed nothing. Then I can add, I can add a line, but then I just save it. It's on the honor system. And you have all these areas too that I'll show you. Hold on. You have your measurements where you're inputting your weight, your inches, keeping up with that. You have this section. I need to do an entire class on this section. Um, I love this section. It's underutilized, but I think it's primarily underutilized because I don't show people how to use it. You can add your own exercises. You can do cha nutritional challenges, exercise challenges, earn badges. These badges down here are so fun. You get in great shape, the soldier badge, the Star Spartan badge, and the savage badge. It's a lot of fun, Sally. And, and we just get stronger and stronger and stronger. We've got our uh, water and supplements. And then you've got your notes if you want a more robust note section. Then we just click save. And then if we go to our weekly timing chart, the weekly timing chart will tell us how much time we spent in efficient fat burning mode. So this, this is a dummy account that we use when we're talking to somebody through Zoom or the phone. So you can see I didn't really do that good last week, but you can see that there's a lot of EFB here. There's a lot of time in fat burning, and that's what we're after. This little guy, he's happy. He had a holiday taking his super suit off because he earned it. So lots of fun stuff, okay? 
Nobody else does what we do. We're about to add, just so y'all can see for our partners, some fun stuff. You've got a memory verse calendar, memory verse of the week, earn badges for memorizing uh, Bible verses, habit changer calendar, and an exercise calendar. All that any day now is launching for partners only. And it's just fun. We're having fun. I hope you're having fun changing our life in Jesus' name. Any other questions or comments? Where can I find the sheet that has all the categories? Michelle, I'll show you my favorite chart. I think we should do away with the beginner charts. And everybody should just start from the beginning with the big chart. This is it. That was, uh, it's in several places, but it's in your survival tools, your resources right here. This, this is a life-saving chart that the whole world should know about. Yep, the blue column saved my life because it didn't help me lose weight. These helped me lose weight. But instead of losing and gaining all the time, it was losing and maintenance. Does that make sense? My approach, does that make sense? That was the difference for me. I learned how on those, when I felt good and great, right, Brother Charles, we can really lose it, can't we, bro? But those days I don't feel good, instead of relapsing, I go to blue column, more variety. Now I know how to eat my potato and keep my insulin levels managed. Insulin is a growth hormone. Look at insulin. The next time you're at a restaurant, I want you to hear this. I want to ruin those chips at the Mexican restaurant for you. Insulin is literally like a, a ball pump. You know what I'm talking about? One of them pumps that you pump up a ball with or a balloon. That's what insulin is. Oh, thank you, Barbara. It's a pump. And you're pumping us up. Pop. Pop goes weasel and the weasel go pop. So we need to neutralize that pump. Anybody else? Any other questions? All right. Looks like everybody's satisfied. If you're not a member, um, you do continue to get fast track for life. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll never take that away from you as long as you're using it. It costs us for every user in there. So if you go a year and you haven't logged in, we're going to remove you. If you're not a member, you get lifetime access to fast track. But again, if you know, you're not using it, we will, we will remove you. If you're not using it for a year, then you just sign up again for free. But um, if you want to become an all access member, I think I'm giving you the right link. Let me double check this. I may be giving you the wrong link. Maybe I am. Let me, let me try something else. not letting me do it let me go try it over here well i don't have it i don't i just can't have does anybody have it from earlier today <laughs> Darn it. If you want it, <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, uh, no wonder. But uh it's um uh, $49 right now. $49 pay once, never pay again. 
the fast track journey, Tiger's Eye. You get all of that. If you want a link, since I don't have any helpers with me. Charles might have found it. Charles found it, I think. Yeah, Charles found it. Use Charles's link. Charles just put a link there. Um, we was notified by our credit card processor that weight loss and wellness programs cannot offer lifetime memberships anymore if they're going to take credit. So do it before August the 31st. Lifetime membership. Is that a good deal? Hope it's a good deal. All right. Everybody satisfied? Double check again. No questions. Good deal. All right. Share Shabolith with somebody. We'll start a new group next week. So if there's any thing fuzzy, it's not clear as mud, come on back next week. And we'll do it again. I do teach the same fast track course, but I'm, it's impossible for me to teach the same class class twice. So it'll be fun again. God bless y'all. We love you in the Lord. And tell somebody about you both. We need you. Consider becoming a partner, an all-access partner. We really need you. All right? God bless you. Have a good one.